Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily. And uh, when things are really overwhelming, I hope that you can stop yourself and take a break and make some distance and remember that you are loved uh, by me, specifically. Um, yeah, so <laughs> not to get too heavy because we have a fun pedal here today. Let me see if I can get that a little bit straighter. It's the Space Bender sent to me by Death by Audio Effects. And uh, it is kind of at its heart a chorus. And in true Death by Audio fashion, it has to do a lot more. Am I right? So this pedal has also delay and a lot, a lot of modulation. So let's go ahead and talk about the controls. I've toggled everything back to the left. Uh, they're on these kind of rockers. Starting with the lay time, which has X1 to the left, X10 to the right, uh, it controls the time of the delay, but it's not all, it's not the be all end all of the delay time. X1 is extremely short delays, almost unnoticeable to a point, kind of ring moddy in other points. And X10 is this more standard delay and you'll have more control over things like the length of it. Next we have modulator. Um, there's modulation on this pedal. And uh, in the LFO mode, it's controlled by an internal sine wave. So if you want consistency in how your sound is, uh, regardless of how hard you're playing, LFO mode is for you. Speed controls the speed, depth controls the depth. In envelope mode, the incoming signal modulates the delay time. So for that one, um, speed controls the envelope sensitivity and depth still just controls the depth. So again, if you want consistency, LFO mode. If you want something a little more experimental and fun, envelope mode. Next we have intensity, low and high. I prefer the low mode. I prefer a little bit less intensity in my modulation, uh, but the high mode is there for you. So I have my Her Signature Stratocaster. One other thing, there is an internal trim pot um, that controls the game. I had to turn it down. It was set too high in my previous demo and I got some clipping. So I'm refilming with that all the way down, which is about Unity game. So. Um, if you're having issues, start there. You probably won't have issues. <laughs> I didn't have to turn it down for the bass part of my demo, so I will be demoing this on bass as well. Um, let's get some playing in. <laughs> Uh, that is my Tone Master Super Reverb um, with a little bit of reverb on. So again, starting about 10 o'clock on these dials, everything toggled to the left. All right, I'm going to set the, uh, set the delay time to X10 because that's kind of where I prefer it. But let's just hear the uh, how quick the delay is real quick. Very bouncy, that's more than a slap back even in my opinion. chorus in and of itself and I really love having that de that delay added 
So you have a lot more control over the delay time. All right. So the LFO in this is very consistent. If we switch it over to envelope, let's see what different sounds we can get. One thing I forgot to mention is that uh, the envelope is rising or falling depending on um, whether you're on the X1 or the 10X for delay time. <laughs> I forgot I was playing. It happens. Let's throw intensity into the mix. <laughs> The depth will also add the number add to the number of repeats. I believe I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Can you hear that modulation change with the attack?
can hear this but sometimes you I wish this pedal had a mix um, because I, I feel like sometimes you lose the dry signal a little bit and I'm sure a lot of that is just where the depth is um, that's really the only downside I see so um, yeah I'm gonna peace out now and I'm going to move on to the bass guitar stay tuned I have my uh, Fender Mustang bass uh, and my Fender Rumble 100 amp and the Space Bender. And I like chorus on basses, so let's uh, see how it sounds. left at the end of that one. <laughs> All right, let's increase the delay time. I've just realized. Let's switch it over to the LFO, I think, which is easier to hear on the X10 setting anyway.
sensitivity. not a lot of bass signal left at the end of that. That, that's a lot of uh, tomfoolery, but thank you to Death by Audio Effects for sending this uh, in exchange for a demo. Uh, check out the reverb listings for these. It's my understanding they'll have a limited a number of limited edition versions of the Space Bender on reverb only, and please use the affiliate link in the video description for that one. Um, it's a great way to support the channel doing things. Let's be honest with ourselves and each other, you were going to do anyway. I also have an affiliate link for uh, Sweetwater, lots of things in the world on Sweetwater. I should say, thanks for watching, thanks for understanding. Until next time, my name is Emily, goodbye.